Lisa Marie, back, back with, with the, the Tiger, Tiger News. Last week, the whole school participated in the Big Apple Crunch Challenge, where we gathered together to take a bite of an apple at the same time. Let's take a look. A little chant. Everyone say, Apple Crunch! Apple Crunch! Apple Crunch! Apple Crunch! Apple Crunch! Apple crunch. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! Crunching apples, crunching apples, crunching apples, crunch those apples, crunching apples, crunching apples, crunching apples, crunch those apples. That was a great crunch. Next up we have Miss Harden's class, first grade class with a nice song about plants. Let's take a look. Next up, we have our segment favorite book. Today's guest is... Hello, Ben Avenue. This is Jimena, and I am in second grade here to tell you about my favorite book. My favorite book is The Princess in Black. This book is about a normal girl who, who turns into a princess in a black dress. She has a pink horse that changes black when she does and she fights evil animals and monsters with a magic wand. This is my favorite book because it's fun to read, it's funny, and has some nice artwork. I highly recommend it, so check it out. What a great book choice. Next up we have Mystic Oteki with a special announcement. Hello, Bell Avenue students. This is Mr. Kotecki with a spooky announcement. This Wednesday at 5.30 will be Bell Avenue's annual spooktacular movie night, where students will dress up in a costume, watch a movie, and go trick-or-treating around the school. This year's movie will be It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Let's take a look. It's time to find the most sincere pumpkin patch around and get ready for It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Reunite with the gang as they get together for this yearly tradition of fun. Watch as Snoopy takes on the Red Baron and the gang goes out in this Halloween classic. Don't get a rock, get It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Fantastic! Students! Please join us this Wednesday and show off your costume. All students must be accompanied by a parent to come. See you there. I am so excited about Spectacular Movie Night. Yeah, it's not very often you get to dress up in costume at school and get free candy. Yeah, and the next day is October 31st, which is Halloween, which means even more candy. October 31st is also the start of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Oh yeah, let's have Isaiah and Jocelyn tell us more. Hello students, my name is Isaiah. And my name is Jocelyn. We are here to tell you about Dia de los Muertos. 
Dia de los Muertos is a holiday celebrated in Mexico and throughout the world on November 1st and 2nd. The Dia de los Muertos has nothing to do with Halloween and is very spiritual and ha happy celebration. It's a celebration of life and traditional Mexico holidays honoring the dead. It is celebrated every year on every year on November 1st and 2nd. Los Dia de los Muertos is not a sad time, but instead a time of remembering a and rejoicing. Colorful uh, altars are erected in homes and public spaces, featuring favorite foods, drinks, and personal mementos of the deceased. Skeletons and skulls are found everywhere. Chocolate skulls, marzipan coffins, and white chocolate skeletons. Sugar skulls are a traditional de decoration made of sugar and are usually bright, colorful, and full of flowers. Handmade skeleton figurines called calacas are especially popular. Calacas usually show an active and joyful afterlife. Figures of musicians, generals on horseback, even skeletal brides in their white bridal gowns marching down the aisle with their bony grooms. Special loaves of bread are baked, called pan de los muertos and decorated with bones. Pictures of dece deceased family members are added in the late afternoon special all night burning candles are lit. It is time to remember the departed, the old ones, their parents and grandparents. The next day, the families travel to the cem cemetery. They arrive with picks and shovels. They, are also, they also carry flowers, candles, blankets, and picnic baskets they have they have come to clean the graves of their loved ones colorful flowers bread fruit and candles are placed on the graves some bring guitars and radios to listen to the families will sometimes spend the entire night in the cemeteries in my family we celebrate el dia de los muertos by putting pictures of the ones that died with bread and milk and we do the rosary at one of my family's member at one of my family's house. In my family we celebrate Dia de los Muertos by putting up a table and decorating it with sugar schools and their favorite foods and we put up pictures of our loved ones. Thank you very much student. Thanks Isaiah and Jocelyn. Next up we have Hayden with all our nutrition facts. Hello everyone, it's your nutrition expert Hayden here to tell you all, the, all you need to know about your healthy treats. This week we'll be having Asian pears and barlet pears and a special treat. Asian pears are also known as Japanese pears, sand pears, nashi pears, or Chinese pears. Barlet pears are picked green and turn light yellow when ripe, sometimes with a red blush. They have a true pear shape. And stay tuned for your special treat this Thursday. Thanks Hayden. Looks like it's time for this week's lunch announcements. It's Vincent here with the lunch announcement. Today will be nachos. Yes. Tuesday will be spaghetti with meat sauce. Wednesday will be chicken chow with meat. And Thursday will be batty chicken nuggets. And Friday will be cheese tamales. Thanks, Vincent. Next up, we have the weather. Hey folks, it's Jackson again with your weekday weather. We are definitely moving into jacket weather. As the week, we'll see a few cloudy more skies with some chilly mornings. Temperatures will start off in the low 50s and reach in the mid 70s. In the afternoon, have a great week folks. And don't forget your jackets. Thanks, Jackson. Next up, we have the birthdays for this week. Let's take a look. Well, folks, that concludes this week's episode of the Tiger News. We'll see you again next Monday, same time and same place. Make it a great, great day, day or not, students, the choice is yours.